That's it. Hey. Let me show you guys one of my favorite lazy 10 minute meals that I make for dinner all the time. I love a good breakfast for dinner moment. After I've had a really long day, I definitely need something that's a hot meal and also very hearty. So this is what I like to make. So basically I fry up a hash brown on one pan and then in the other pan, I pop in my just egg. I add a little bit of salt to this, some pepper and some red chili flakes to season it with. And then I scramble these bad boys up and then I cook my tortilla with some hot sauce and earth balanced butter. So this is totally vegan by the way. And this is vegan cheese as well. And I put the hot hash brown on top to sort of melt the cheese and then I add some store-bought salsa on top and that's basically it you guys it genuinely took me 10 minutes to make this and about like two minutes to eat it so let me know what you want to see next today for episode two of the Thanksgiving series we're making the best mac and cheese because you guys loved last year's recipe and I just wanted to give you guys an even better version to begin we're going to add all of our heavy cream our cream cheese as well as all of our seasonings and we're going to let it simmer on low heat and set it to the side here I'm just boiling my one pound of macaroni, but remember before you drain it, you want to save one half cup of your pasta water. And then after you drain it in the same pot, we're going to saute our garlic and our shallots. You want to saute them for about two to four minutes, then add in your flour and saute until it's slightly golden. Add in your sauteed heavy cream, as well as your pasta water and all of your cheeses. Mix on low to medium heat until your cheese is nice and melted. It should look something like this. And then you can pop in your macaroni and give it a good stir. You want everything to be nice and coated. And then you can get ready for layering your macaroni. You want to add a layer of your pasta, a layer of whatever cheese you like the most out of the three cheeses that we used, another layer of pasta, another layer of cheese, and we're going to bake at 350 for about 10 minutes or until you're happy with the layer, the top layer of cheese, and then take it out whenever you're satisfied, and you're done. Today we're making a sushi bake. Talk about the perfect bite. So it's kind of like a deconstructed sushi. If you don't know how to roll a good sushi roll, then this is the solution. Basically just cook your sushi rice, then add in your sushi rice seasoning and give that a stir. And the toppings are pretty customizable. So I'm gonna make a marinated raw salmon and also a spicy creamy crab meat. So the key ingredient for this one is Kewpie mayonnaise. Please don't use regular mayonnaise, it won't taste the same, trust me. Top your rice with furikake and your toppings, then add some extra kewpie mayonnaise and extra furikake on top, then chuck it in the oven for about 15 minutes 
and yeah. So that there is a golden bird. Push your own bird. Small onion. Remove the skin. Quartered. Lemon. Quartered. One small bunch time. Grab your four pound bird. Add the thyme first so it doesn't burn. Stuff it. You could add whatever you want. Hide the legs with butcher's twine. So it cooks evenly. Avocado oil. A little bit so it gets nice and golden. Crush your salt generously. Pepper. Tuck the wings so it cooks evenly. Don't add anything into the pan. It creates steam. We want the skin nice and crispy. 400 degrees for one hour, 15 minutes. Ooh. Let it rest 15 minutes. This is the jus. Keep it warm. It's delicious. Boning knife. Keep the carcass. It makes great chicken stock. Don't forget the jus because you're fancy. I used to think I didn't have a favorite meal, but it turns out I do, and this is it. Remove the tenders from your chicken breast and then flatten it out so it's even all the way through. Season with garlic powder, soy sauce, rice vinegar, honey, salt and pepper, and let that marinate. Season the breadcrumbs with some salt and avocado oil, mix that in, and then start coating the chicken with some flour, eggs, and the panko breadcrumbs. Press it in firmly, and I like to cook this in the air fryer for about 10 minutes. Let that cool, and for the sauce, combine coconut milk, peanut butter, brown sugar, soy sauce, rice vinegar, garlic, ginger, let that simmer until thick. Cut up the panko chicken, and then transfer it to your plate with some jasmine rice, your veggies, the peanut sauce, and enjoy. Let's make this creamy, delicious roasted cherry tomato soup with the grilled cheese, of course. Grab your summer ripe cherry tomatoes. This is what I like to call a sheet pan soup. Add the tomatoes, a head of garlic, and quartered onion and thyme to a baking sheet. Drizzle it with olive oil, salt, and pepper, and roast it until it's all bubbly and delicious just like this. Transfer it to a blender, add some vegetable broth, squeeze out those garlic cloves, add a little creme fraiche or sour cream if you like, blend it up until very smooth, top it with more creme fraiche, a little bit of olive oil, and there you have the best cherry tomato soup. My chicken noodle soup for the soul. It's takjuk, tak meaning chicken, and juk meaning porridge, and it's my healing food. When I was younger, I used to get sick quite often, and my grandma would always bring a bowl of takjuk to bed so I could eat and bite the flu away. You can take a lot of different variations with juk. Add whatever vegetables or protein you have in your fridge. To put it simply, think of juk as a blank canvas where flavors can be layered on. To serve four people, I'm only using a cup of rice. You can really stretch your rice to the maximum, which is why it was such an important dish historically because it fed the poor. Not only is chuk nourishing and cost-effective, but it's also ubiquitous. It has a lot of different names. The anglicized name kanji, chok in Thai, lugao in Tagalog are all different names to a very similar dish. In the West, the same concepts exist in grits, oatmeal, and in risotto. But back to this takjuk, it was incredibly smooth and glossy from the fat on the chicken. Overall, just a really wholesome meal with simple flavors. Clean bowl club for this one because... I'm going to show you guys how to make this super easy and delicious flatbread and you don't even need an oven for it. That is amazing. First, we want to mix together two thirds cup of milk and water, one tablespoon of dry active yeast, and three and a half cups of all purpose flour. Give that a good mix until it starts forming into a dough. Then we're going to add in three tablespoons of olive oil and start kneading it together for about 10 to 15 minutes. After, we want to shape it into a dough ball, place it back into the bowl, cover, and let it sit at room temp for one to two hours. You know it's ready once it doubles in size. Now we want to cut the dough into six equal pieces, lightly dust with some flour, and roll it out to a six to seven inch circle. On medium low heat, place your flatbread into a pan and let it brown on both sides. And there you have it, super delicious and easy flatbread. Look how juicy the chicken is. How to make Taiwanese style deep fried chicken. Chicken drumsticks, add in onion, garlic, soy sauce, Chinese cooking wine, white pepper. If you like it spicy, add in red pepper powder. Set it aside for one hour. Rice flour, cornstarch, add in egg, ice cold soda water, mix together. Coat the chicken in the batter. Coat the chicken in more tapioca starch and rice flour. Deep fry the drumsticks for seven to eight minutes. Now look at that.
make this crispy beef gyoza. For the filling, we have 80-20 ground beef, garlic, ginger, scallions, chicken broth to make it juicy, soy sauce, sesame oil, white pepper, salt, and sugar. Spread water around your gyoza wrapper and then add about a teaspoon of the filling, then fold it over and crease it shut like so. Add some hot oil and shallow fry the bottom until crispy and then add some water and steam it for a few minutes and that is all. Enjoy! Let me show you guys how I make one of my favorite 10 minute lazy meals after work when I am just like contemplating my entire existence. Like I didn't ask to be born, you know? And <laughs> like, I just, I need a quesadilla, right? So basically what I do is I grab some oil, some red onions, some garlic, black beans, some bell peppers and cabbage. And then I just put a lot of taco seasoning on there and also some chili lime seasoning from Trader Joe's. And then once that's fried up, I add some cheese into my tortilla and then I put my veggies in there and then I fry this up with some hot sauce and butter. And that's literally it, you guys. It is so good. I know it's not like the prettiest thing to look at, but it tastes amazing. So I hope you try it out.